Hello, everyone. This is Daniel from Cree RevGen, and this week we have a quick informational update video about government rates. So it's late August, so that means that the new government per diem rates are out for 2021, and that fiscal season starts in October. Um, so the changes that you have to make to your government rates are actually coming up pretty quickly um, in just a little bit over a month. So let's dive in and take a look at uh, some of the key points about the new government per diem rates and how to handle them. So first off, if you don't know how to look up your government per diem, it's super, super easy. All you have to do is go to the gsa.gov website and do a quick look up for your 2021 rates. So I'm going to show you an example of what that looks like. This is the website you would put in 2021 for the year and then pop in either a zip code or your state and city and then click on find rates. So for example, here's Dallas, Texas, and you can see that the rates are actually decreasing down to 154 starting in 2021. All right, so how do you price and yield government? So a couple of questions that come up all the time in revenue management scenarios are, what if my bar rates are consistently above or below per diem? So if this is the case in your market, um, if your bar rates are you know, wildly different than your per diem, consider offering dynamic discounts for your government business. Also, what you can do is consider dynamic pricing rules, such as the one shown over here on the right. So what I have shown here is a Marriott property that actually has a really clever ceiling rule. So the way that they have their per diem set up is they offer that flat per diem at $110 unless the bar rate drops below that. And then if the bar rate drops below 110, then they just offer a 10% off of the prevailing retail rate. Another interesting thing that you should be considering is check your yield strategy for your government rate codes and rate plans and make sure that they're logical. So are they LRA, are they in LRA? What level or bucket do they live in? So for example, if you have a Hilton property, does it make sense that your government rates live in LV0? Okay, another major thing to consider is comparing what you're doing to what the comp set is doing. Um, so I see this in markets all the time where you have a two star, a two and a half star property and you're offering this super high per diem. And then you've got a five star, a four star property right across the way that's also offering per diem. So this is kind of an interesting scenario where, you know, Look at these screenshots here. We have a Hampton property that's offering this $150 state government per diem rate. And then right across the way, we have a five-star hotel that's also offering a $150 per diem rate. So it stands to reason that the Hampton over here on the left is probably not getting that much government, actual real government per diem travel business uh, because these nicer properties, especially with COVID going on right now, are also offering you know, the true per diem. So if you were on per diem travel, on official government business, which hotel would you stay in? All right, and then lastly, operational enforcement. So this is a huge part of it. Just be sure that the front desk knows the difference between what a valid and an invalid form of government IDs are. So examples would include, you know, a common access card versus a cost reimbursable government contractor. Um, you know, the front desk should be able to determine, you know, which of those qualifies for the per diem and which doesn't. So one major note is, of course, COVID is going on right now. So you probably don't want to be turning away the, you know, cost reimbursable government contractors, military family appreciation rate and that sort of thing. But just make sure that to help with your data cleanliness, be sure to move them into the correct segment or the right rate plan. So if you do have someone that's there, you know, asking for a government rate, don't just assume that they're on that they're there on official government travel, you know, ask a few more questions, you know, find out if maybe the military appreciation rate or the military family rate is a better fit for them. All right, so this has been a quick rundown of what to expect this year for per diems and how to handle them. Thanks for watching.